726 feet tall, 1,244 feet wide. Welcome to Hoover Dam. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the lasso over the roaring lion that terrorized civilization ever since the dawn of... Okay, maybe that's taking it a little bit too far. But hey, this thing successfully tamed the demonic Colorado River and saved entire villages from flooding. That's got to be something. Even Herbert Hoover, the guy this dam was named after, recognizes it. Okay, um, am I seeing this right? The transmission towers seem a little wackadoodle. Uniquely, they're designed this way. It's meant to handle the extreme pulling forces from the heavy cables and meet safety insulation requirements. Yeah, we don't want them to collapse. Water and electricity go a teeny bit too well together. So, here you go. One application for geometry. It took 4.4 million cubic yards to assemble this monstrosity. Now, you can brag that it took 1,760 Olympic swimming pools worth of concrete just to get some power. But this isn't any power. Hoover Dam's daily hydroelectric output can sustain 380,000 U.S. households. Daily. These sentinels over water are intake towers. Imagine them as huge mouths that act as big bosses. I mean, they do measure a 30-story building from the submerged base. They control how much water enters the power plant by opening and closing gates. So, here's the thing. Hoover Dam has a foot in Arizona and the other in Nevada. As you can probably see, time gets a little more fun here. To cap it all off, we got the chance to explore Hoover Dam from the inside out. Here, you can see the penstocks and pipes, which channel water from the intake tower, the big bosses from earlier on. There, the water gets sucked into the, drum roll please, generators. And its energy is no longer hydro. The deluge turns the turbines, which, like all the best scenes in Transformer movies, turns it into electrical power which then provides the electricity we so desperately need. Gods, I was so tiny when this was filmed. <clears throat> anyway, on the side of the dam are vents. Maybe the next time you go, you can see tourists like us behind them. Ever wondered how the dam is still up and running? Here's your answer. Maintenance crews periodically inspect and check up in the inside via long, long ladders. Well, here we are again at the end of a fun video and wrapping up a delightful adventure into the belly of the beast itself this time. Learn something new today? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already so we can continue exploring our world together.